this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm going to show you how to connect your Logitech Google TV device to your home theater system. And this is how you do it. I'm going to show you the configuration diagram first. I'm going to show you the physical connections later. All right, configuration A. Hook up your HD cable box via HDMI cable. So if it's HDMI cable box is connected to your TV, unplug it from your TV, connect it straight into your Google TV device. All right, so I can collect all the info from your DVR or cable box. Then you want to connect your Ethernet cable, which is not provided. You have to buy that separately. The Ethernet cable straight into your modem. Yes, you can have a cupcake. That was my son. All right. Now we plug straight into your cable modem, internet modem, whatever you have. All right. Now, if you have a router, plug it into port one of your router. Usually, port one of your router is slightly faster than the other ports in some cases. All right. It does have built in Wi Fi, I believe, but to stream high def video, it takes a lot of bandwidth. So, I for a reliable signal, connect it straight into using an Ethernet cable and then you plug the HDMI out straight into your HDMI 1, 2, or 3 input in your TV. Then you can connect the audio out to your surround sound receiver if your TV has audio outputs whether it's a headphone jack or you know the red and white audio cables or the optical out. And This also has an optic out by the way optic out to your surround sound receiver input or you can use that as um, wireless headphones if you have them and then plug in the power last always plug in the power last so it doesn't get confused alright so if you plug in the power first and you plug it into the devices the, you might have to reset it and to reset it you unplug it wait 30 seconds and then plug it back in that's a hard reset all right, and this configuration B. Now, if your cable box is connected to your surround sound receiver cable slash satellite input, unplug that, plug it straight into the Google TV device. Has to, cable box always has to be connected straight into the Google TV device. If you don't have an HD cable box, call up your cable provider, satellite provider. Say, I want to upgrade my H, upgrade my cable box to HD cable box with HDMI output. Usually they do that for free and also provide the HDMI cable. And actually most cases. Again, Ethernet cable is not provided. You have to buy that separately. I wish it was, but it's not. Connect that straight into your cable modem. If you do not have your cable modem nearby, Google Netgear Powerline Adapter Kit. All right? And that's just a plug and play device and it's considered a wired connection and you gotta actually have the cable modem on the other side of your house and this device on the, on the opposite side of their house and still considered a wired connection just google netgate powerline adapter kit it works great highly recommended and then HDMI out goes to the cable slash satellite input on your surround sound receiver and then the HDMI output to your TV, uh, HDMI 1 or 2 or 3 on your TV, doesn't really matter. And then plug in the power last. Now, this all comes with the unit, obviously the device itself, wireless keyboard slash universal remote, yes, this is a universal remote. It'll turn on and off your TV, surround sound, and your cable box, you can channel up and channel down on your cable box, and control the volume on your surround sound, and even change the inputs too but you have to hit the function button to change the input. Anything in orange you see here, you have to hit the function button. Key, I'm sorry, function key. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, this right here is the reset slash pairing button. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the HDMI in. All right here, this is the cable box. Plug that in. Now cable box is plugged into HDMI input. The IR blaster is now plugged in. 
All right. I got my cable modem slash router. It's a combo unit. I got it for free because I'm lucky. Not really. They just gave it to me. All right. Plug that in. And this plugs into HDMI out straight to my TV. Right there. And then plug in the power last. It's a 12 volts and 3 amp. There's the power it uses. Plug that in. Alright. So the IR blaster would sit right here, like so. Booyah! I turned my dumbass TV into a smart TV using Google TV Me by Logitech device. Sweet. And here's the keyboard and whatnot. And to put the batteries in, you put the batteries in right here. Two AA batteries, that's all it takes. And that just slides on, slides off. You can see the arrows. Okay, and then make sure you turn that on, switch. The light doesn't come on, change out your batteries. Your batteries are dead. Alright, now I'm going to show you in part two, I'm going to show you this whole rundown.